guys, welcome back to our special today art class. I hope you guys enjoyed your tinfoil art last week. This week we are going to be doing rainbow jars. So for this lesson, you are going to need um, a jar. It can be any size. It just needs to be kind of tall and thin. Um, that's what works best, but you can use whatever you have at home. Uh, you will also need uh, some chalk, different colors. You'll need salt. And you'll need papers. So you'll want one paper for each color of chalk you have, or you can use the front and the back um, one for each color as well. So um, that is what you for sure need. Um, the other things that are optional are a funnel. Um, I'll show you how to use the funnel as well. I won't be using it for most of it though. It works best if you have a container so that you don't make a huge mess everywhere or you can take this outside. So I will show you how to get started and then you can just keep going with it. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is lay your paper into your container. After that you are going to pour salt onto the paper. You want a good amount, so hopefully you can see that, I know it's kind of hard to see it on the white paper. So pour a good amount on there and then choose your first color of chalk. So I am going to go with purple, my chalk is cute little egg shape, um, you can use whatever chalk you have. So you're going to take your chalk and then you're just going to simply rub it onto the salt. You can see that the salt actually helps to break down the chalk um, and then the chalk will color the salt that color. So it's turning purple there. So I want to keep going until all of my salt is covered. that you do this, um, the more uh, dark this salt is going to get. So if you do it for a while, then it'll get about the color of your chalk itself. Um, if you just want it to be a light color, then you don't have to do it very long because it will mix um, pretty well. So keep going until you're satisfied. take your jar. So I have already started to fill mine up. Um, you can see the different colors that I have in there. So I've got just a little bit of blue down at the bottom um, and then some green and yellow on the top. Now you're going to take your paper and if you have a funnel you're going to place your funnel inside your jar. Then you're going to take your paper and carefully get the sand towards the middle. And then you just pour it into the funnel. Okay. And then you can take that out. And then you can see I've got another pile on top of a different color. You can shake it out a little bit if you want. It makes it just flatter. 
um, or you can leave it raised and then it will kind of go back and forth um, in your jar. So that is our first layer. Afterwards, I'm going to keep going with our different layers. So I'm going to swap my paper out. I am going to go with orange. So you're going to do the exact same thing for a good amount of salt on there. And then you just start rubbing the salt with the chalk. We're going to do the same thing, the colored salt towards the middle of your paper, put your jar into your container, and then you can use the funnel if you would like, um, or you can just take the paper and pour it right in there. And then you're just going to keep going with that. All right, you guys, so we just finished up. Um, so you can see at the end, we've got this really cool rainbow jar. It's got lots of different colors and rainbows on it. So it turned out pretty well. So you can now put your lid on top um, and keep it. And then feel free to email me if you have any questions or if you just want to show me how yours turned out. Um, I'd love to see them as well. See you next time, guys.